Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about Trends Vertical Control Rods. Um, these are used instead of that traditional stack of torches or the spiral redstone to get a signal from somewhere low to somewhere up high. Um, he pioneered these in episode 7 of his LP series. I'll post a link in the description. Um, so yeah, he used a repeater-based one-tick clock. Uh, the problem with that, and he acknowledged this, the problem with that is that when you log out, it breaks. Um, he wanted to use a one-tick clock, though, to ensure that the repeaters um, that are on the other side of the blocks to get pushed up um, update properly, and the pistons that are at the top don't continue to try to push up and down. Um, now, if we use a simple, old-fashioned, torch-based five clock with a simple latch incorporated, we can fix all those problems. Um, he had mentioned he was going to use a different clock, but I just went ahead and made a video anyway. We can fix all those problems so that when we log back in, it still works. So you can see I just logged back in, and I built his control rods here in my uh, test world real quick. Uh, you can see that they go up and down, and you can control them all independently. Yeah. The problem is, is uh, you can't spam them. They still go up and down quick enough. But if you try and spam them like that, you see they just stay still, basically. Um, yeah, so let me put these back down. We'll go up there and check it out. Oh, lag. So yeah, I just arranged my uh, five, five clock in a vertical way so it doesn't take up too much room. You can see there's the five clock. Uh, you can take an output from anywhere, so I took an output from there and an output from there so it wouldn't interfere with each other. Um, so these would be the three blocks that get pushed up, that one, that one, and this one. And these are the pistons that push them back down. Um, if you, if this block gets raised up, or if I place a block there simulated getting raised up, you can see that the clock initially powers it, and then it comes back around using a very simple latch technique where it powers itself so it stays on. Um, you do need the pulsing, however, to continue so that this piston gets updated when this, so that when this block um, goes back down or when the piston below goes back down, this piston can push it. There you go. So we'll get up there and see the setup otherwise is exactly the same. I just added, all I added was those the block down there, uh, this block to keep the wires from getting in touch with each other, this redstone, this redstone, and this repeater. Um, so yeah, so when you when the block goes up, you can see it gets powered normally, goes back down. There you have it. You can stagger this setup. You can make it keep going vertical the same way he was playing too um, by placing another piston. So you take this whole setup here and just place it on top of itself. So yeah, let me show you real quick. I place a block, see it goes up, it goes back down. Okay, let me go down there and show you it with the levers. So you can see the pistons up there is up, back down, up, back down. So that way you can just stack the thing as high as you need to your wiring to go. That's it. Thanks for watching.